Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, it's Hazel here and today I am going to show you some DIY cleaning things that I have tried and these are all for the first time so we're just going to jump straight in. So here I am taking the filters out of my dishwasher. So the dishwasher have been leaving things a little bit grimy so I've just popped these in hot water and washing up liquid and I'm now sprinkling some baking soda over the bottom of the dishwasher which will leave it nice and sparkly clean. And I have put one cup of white vinegar in a glass, it's a Pyrex dish. And then I'm closing the dishwasher up with none of the filters in there. And I'm putting it on the hottest setting. Normally I wouldn't put it on such a hot setting, I would use the eco setting, but to get things nice and clean, I've put it on the hottest setting. And opening it up there, or oh, you can see how clean and shiny it is as I slosh that hot water which is no longer vinegar dish and then I need to put the filters in which I had a huge amount of difficulty getting them back in because I could not remember so I've clipped and cut it not showing you the 20 minutes it took me to get them in but there we have a beautiful shiny dishwasher and now we're moving on to the washing machine so this also took me ages to get the stopper out of the uh, little hose here. I didn't realise there was a hose here for a very long time. I was just pouring water out over the floor to clean out the filter. But as you can see, this hose, it, take, it took about just over five minutes, I think, for all the water to empty out. So we want to get that nice and empty. And then we want to put the stopper back in. So when we next put it on, water doesn't come gushing out of the hose. And what this means is that when we then come to open the filter, which is next to the hose, we won't be, we won't end up with dirty water all over the floor. So I'm just taking the filter out. It's usually got kind of fluff and dog hair and bits and pieces there, but it's nice to give that a good clean out. And once again, just cleaning the filter. It's not been too long since I last did it, but cleaning the filter with hot soapy water. And then to clean the machine, oh yes, yeah, so <laughs> some water did spill out. But to clean the machine itself, you can add some vinegar to the tray. So it'll clean the tray out and give it a nice wash out. Or what I like to do is to pop some citric acid in the actual drum itself. So that means that it gets rid of lime scale and it leaves it really nice and squeaky clean. And on before I get ahead of myself, right, put the filter back in. So on my dishwasher, I do have an option to do a drum clean itself. So this, I think it suggests you do it every 45 washes or so, and you can put an automated clean on and you don't need to put any products in. But if you want things, if it is feeling a bit whiffy, if you've been cleaning lots of dog beds or something, um, you can pop the citric acid in and the vinegar and use those to give it a really nice good clean. And you might want to do this on a hot wash as well depending on what your dish your washing machine options are. So next up we have I live in a hard water area so we have a White, uh, white vinegar to get rid of that lime scale in the top of the shower head. So for this one, you want to, I used a bag. This was a bag I already had. You could put it in a bowl, um, but a bag actually ended up using a lot less vinegar and tying it with a string to keep it closed. I did need to squish it around a little bit to kind of get it in the right position. But we have the vinegar in the bag and leave it for about two hours. So I left it for two hours, which was absolutely perfect. And then when we come to empty it out, you could just see, I, I didn't do a very good before shot, but it was all white on the head. So that it's already come out clean. So just giving it a good brush to get any lime scale out of those little rubbery nodules, give it a good wipe. And you can see the water is coming out good as new. And I did also save the white wine vinegar from the bag uh, for a future job, which I will show you shortly. So now we're going to clean this stainless steel uh, sink. So this sink 
has been looking you can't really see because i filmed it at night but it's got all kind of tea stains brown stains and just not it looks really really dull so i've sprinkled bicarbonate of soda all over the board and then that is the vinegar there that i've just i found it easiest to just pop it on the cloth some places i read said to uh, spray it all over but i found it really good to just kind of pop it on the cloth give it a top up I think I only topped up the cloth a couple of times with it and then I used some serious elbow grease to scrub the sink and it came out beautiful like this to me is an absolute miracle <laughs> maybe a miracle's a step too far but my goodness did this sink come out good so it was just a sprinkle of the bicarb and not too much of the vinegar. So this is a really easy one in terms of products. Uh, but yeah, probably I probably spent about 15 minutes scrubbing, I reckon. But boy, it came out good. So now I'm actually cleaning the drain out itself. It's a, got a little bit whiffy, especially the kitchen one. So I did half a cup of bicarbonate of soda, followed by two cups of vinegar, and then put a little bit of water down the drain not enough to wash it all away just enough to kind of add to the mixture and then I put a cloth on top so I popped some warm water on the cloth just to let it do its magic and then I just poured some hot water down there after about half an hour I think and boy did this sink come out good and that came out really nice so we're just jumping straight on to my horrible old toilet. So this is a toilet that we do not use often. It is constantly stained like that. Um, it's not anything gross. It's just the hard water and the fact it's a really old toilet. So I'm putting, I flush the toilet to make it wet around the outside. And then I'm using this borax substitute, which isn't, I have to be honest, not something that I'd heard of before, borax or a borax substitute. But anyway, it comes in this nice cardboard box and I just sprinkled it all over, gave a nice coating. And then in this, uh, it's an old toilet cleaning bottle, but I've put vinegar in there. So just enough, you don't want to wash it all away, wash away all the borax, um, which is quite tricky because it's liquid and it's just pouring it all away. But um yeah I'm just adding the vinegar and then I did put a bit more on because it did kind of wash it all away and this I left it all night it said a minimum of two hours and I left it on there all night long doing its thing working hard and coming back the next morning it looks the same but then oh my goodness it just wipes right off it's just wiping the stains right away this was a really good one I will definitely be using this instead of my usual toilet cleaner because with these products you don't want to use anything that's too abrasive so with the bicarb and the borax you don't want to use a really like scrubbing brush you just want to use a cloth because you can end up scratching things so it's just a really good way to naturally wow look at that clean toilet that is another miracle amazing so the final one to show you is just a little bit of mould that I had along the edge of my windowsill. And on the windowsill there, it is night time when I'm filming, filming this because I like to do my cleaning after work and it's dark after work. So anyway, I just have a toothbrush, which I use for all sorts of cleaning. It's really handy to just have an old toothbrush and I just popped some vinegar on it. So I used the vinegar that I had used to um, have cleaned the shower head in and look at that oh so dirty so grimy but it just washed off wiped off so easily and I used the um I used that white the rest of the vinegar to clean out the drain in my bath so yes it's good to good to make sure to use things especially if you're soaking something but yeah unfortunately the corners it's actually that's not mold that's making the corners black but where the where the ledge is black that has come out sparkly clean so i hope you found these really useful i had a lot of fun trying them out i wasn't really sure what to expect but 
hey presto the proof is in the pudding so let me know down below if you have any other ideas or if you've tried any of these out.